Hey there. What's up, everyone? Howdy. How's it going? How's it good? How's it good? My name's Laura, and this is my channel, Laura Luna Books. Welcome. And if you're coming back, welcome back. Good to see you. How's it hanging? Today, I want to do a Top 5 Wednesday video, which I haven't done in a while, actually. I cannot remember quite when I did my last one, but it was a good chunk of time ago. We're gonna just dive right in and do one. If you don't know what Top 5 Wednesday is, it is a group on Goodreads that comes up with topics every Wednesday to talk about and different bloggers and booktubers can talk about the specific topic of that Wednesday. So today's topic, March 22nd, is a fun one. It is your favorite angsty romances. So yeah. Okay, if you don't know me at all, I'm not a huge fan of the angst. It gets on my nerves a lot, but but it can be done well. Angst, angst, that word, angst. It is kind of a fun word, I must admit. It describes a particular relationship, relationship. <laughs> angst. So angst is, you know, angst. We all experience angst when we're teenagers. Some still more than others and it just describes just like a tension there's dark brooding emotions there are misunderstandings there are tets of tets head to heads and characters they like like each other but they don't know how to express themselves necessarily so that's that's kind of what angst is ish let's talk about my favorites favorites now they're decent, these ones I have on my list, sort of. Number five, we are going to go with a classic, and that would be Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. The classic, angst-ridden romance of Heathcliff and Kathy um, in the moors of England. The moors are very angsty environment. They just inspire angst. But yes, these two characters are terrible people and they somehow fall in love, but then they also are terrible to each other and it just doesn't work out and then their angsty romance affects their children's lives. So that's always fun when that happens. Number four, I used to like this book series when I myself was an angsty teenager. Now I see all its problematic flaws in full detail, but this is a series, and one particular book in that series is the most filled with angst that a book could possibly be filled with angst, and that is New Moon from the Twilight series and Edward and Bella from that series. That couple is just not a healthy relationship in general, One's a vampire, one's a human, you know, it just doesn't quite work out. And also, they just, they're not the most mature characters, you could say. They become very obsessed with each other. And then they make the terrible decision of not communicating effectively. And then one of them being like, oh, you know what, this is bad. This relationship's bad, so I'm just gonna leave. And the other one just not being able to emotionally process this idea that he's protecting her at. There's like full chapters in that book that are blank. Cause it's just like, Bella sat there and stared out the window. And when I read that, even when I was younger, I'm just like, you know, you have a life outside of boys, you know? You, you can be a person. I always get a chuckle out of that book series. Uh, so frustrating, but I mean that's thanks. It's just a frustrating relationship. Next is an interesting one because it's not really angsty, but it is at the same time. Okay, so number three, I'm going to pick Ron and Hermione from Harry Potter. The angst comes from them just not being able to express themselves at all in the whole series pretty much until the end of the books. And it's mostly just Ron being a teenage boy 
and not knowing how to tell Hermione that he likes her. Spoiler, if that's a spoiler. And Hermione just being done with all his BS and his jealousy because it's, it's too much. Like in book number four where he's like, oh, you can't be friends with Victor Crumb even though he was a huge fan of Victor Crumb in the beginning. And Hermione's just like, dude, if you wanted to ask me to the dance, you should have asked me to the dance. What is wrong with you? Stupid boys. But yeah, and then he gets jealous of Harry and Hermione even though there's nothing going on there because they're just friends. But Ron was also under the burden of one of the Horcruxes. So I can't quite say it was all him, but he, he was a teenage boy, so. Number two is Kaz and Anaj from Six of Crows series. I feel so bad for them. They're both really damaged characters. They just don't know how to form human connections in the romantic sense because they've just been messed up. Um, but they're very cute at the same time. You like want them to be together, but they just like are working there, but very slowly. It's like an adorable angst. Is there such a thing? I'm just creating it. There is an adorable angsty romance between them two, but they're also into like killing people. So they have hobbies in common. You know, that's important in any relationship. Also, if you watch Vanessa over at Paper Fairy, she made this video recently where she talked about Kaz being this mothering figure in the Six of Crows crew and being like a mother hen and all the rest of them are his little chicken. And I just thought that was the most adorable image ever and someone should make a painting of that or just a drawing and it would be wonderful and beautiful. And to end this great angst filled video, number one on my list is of course going to be from a Cassandra Clare book because I think Cassandra Clare is the modern queen of writing angsty romances and the first book series I read of hers was Clockwork Angel, The Infernal Devices, so the couple I choose from that is Will and Tessa. They are just angsty. Yeah, they're very angsty. They kind of get in their own way. Also, just a communication thing. Communication is so important and all these angsty romances have in common that they are very poor communicators, which is not a good thing to have in a relationship, but they work on it and they start to communicate better. And there's also a love triangle. That's predominantly why the relationship is filled with so much angst. It is a love triangle, sort of, but not really, because I don't want to spoil anything for you. So yeah, that's it. Those are my couples that I ship, kind of. They just need to work on talking and then life will be easier for them, honestly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know your favorite angst ridden couples down below in the comment section and also if you did your own version of the top 5 Wednesday because I'd love to check your video out and until next time, I will see you.